Welcome to module two, designing a one-on-one -on -one coaching practice for those you lead. In the last module, we took a look at the elements that go into an effective coaching practice, KPIs, individual goals, and then a real coaching agenda, right? So in this module, I want to invite you to think about your face-to-face -face or one-on-one -on -one time with the employees you manage. If you manage a virtual team, sometimes we can't meet with people in person, but we can certainly meet with them by phone or via Skype or some other video conferencing technology. However you meet with your employees, in this module, we're going to discuss how to take those elements into account in order to design a one-on-one -on -one coaching practice for those you lead. As a part of this, we're going to talk again about the importance of ensuring consistency in your practice in order to really drive individual and team performance. I want to make sure that we understand as we go into this module that a coaching practice is designed to be used with every single employee. So whether you manage 15 employees or two employees, every employee should have a consistent coaching practice with you. We're going to break down what those elements are that make for a consistent coaching practice so that you can design a coaching plan and practice that suits the needs of your team and your organization. By the time you finish this module, you will be able to outline the elements of a coaching practice and should be able to put together a very consistent practice to execute with your team right now. And if you don't have a team right now, that's okay. This is work you can still do as it applies to your current position and organization. You could also propose it to someone that you work for or with to see if it might be something that they would like to use for their team. So let's begin by talking about how key performance indicators drive and fit into establishing this consistency of coaching practice. 